Hello Wet Shavers! In this video we're going to do a shave off between the Razorock BBS and the new BBSA coming up next on the Soap Thing Project. Alright, welcome to the Soap Thing Project. If this is your first time watching, I hope you'll consider hitting the subscribe button. And let's talk about the Razorock BBS for a minute. This is one of my personal favorites from Razorock. It is 316 stainless steel. And it is a very easygoing and forgiving shaver. It's a very smooth shaver. And it's a... Uh, oh, how do I want to describe this guy? It's... It's very efficient, but it's very, very, very mild. So if you are somebody like me who has thick, coarse, and stubborn facial hair, but you have sensitive skin, or are prone to nicks and cuts, acne, razor bumps, razor burn, that sort of thing, I found that this one works quite well for, for shaving my personal face. Now it makes this... Uh, what makes this razor unique is the fact that it shaves at a much steeper shaving angle. I don't know if you can see that, but here it is side by side with a Razor Rock Mamba 70. So a normal razor will shave at about 45 degrees to your face. This one, the BBS, and its other, other one we got here, the BBSA, will shave at, a, at an angle that's closer to 35 degrees. So you're shaving at a steeper shaving angle to your face. For me, that makes it a little more intuitive and in some places a little bit easier to shave. Your, your habits may vary, but that's one of the benefits of this one is it's a steeper shaving angle. And because the blade is torqued to such an extreme degree, it actually takes away most, if not all, of the blade chatter. I actually don't know if I've ever experienced blade chatter with this one. I don't believe I have. So it keeps, at least keeps blade chatter to a minimum, if not el eliminates it altogether. Here are the two razors side by side that we will be using today. At first glance, they both look seemingly identical. They both have the same HD style handle on them. The only differences I've noticed with my bare eyes is, uh, the fact that the regular BBS just says BBS on the cap. I don't know if you can see that. But the BBSA actually says BBSA. So, also, I did notice a weight difference because I took my scale, wherever it is, right here, and I weighed it. And the BBSA is a tenth of an ounce lighter than the regular BBS. The regular BBS weighed in at about uh, 3.8 ounces. And the BBSA came in at 3.7 ounces. So those are going to be the major differences between these two. I'm sure there's a, there's a cap and guard geometry difference. There, there would have to be, otherwise it would just be the same razor. So but we're going to put these... To the test, the regular BBS is going to be on the left side of my face. The BBSA is going to be on the right. And we're going to do the shave with ProRazzo Blue. We're just going to keep it simple and use the, the ProRazzo Blue. This is the protective and moisturizing uh, variety of ProRazzo. It's got aloe and vitamin E. We've got the matching aftershave balm. Both of these razors are already outfitted with Persona Platinums or Persona Reds. And the brush is going to be the Omega Evo. So let's get all this together and let's see how they perform. Okay, I got two days growth on the face today. I last shaved on a Thursday evening and it is now uh, <clears throat> Saturday at 1 o'clock. So about 44 hours growth. So we're going to take the Omega Evo Synthetic, and I'm just going to wet it a little bit in the sink. 
brush out some of the excess water. And I'm actually gonna try to do a face lather this time. Normally I'm a, a bowl latherer, but we're just gonna try doing a face lather. See how it goes with the uh, Pro Razzo Blue. That should be enough. Should be more than enough, I would hope. Okay, I'm just gonna try to start working this in. Sim strength on ProRezzo Blue, for those who are curious, is a two out of three. So medium scent strength. The scent profile is something of a synthetic aquatic. If I had to peg this one, I'd peg it as a an aquatic scent, but not a very natural smelling one. I actually kind of like it, to be perfectly honest. <clears throat> just gonna dab that in the water and add some more water to this mixture. lather all over the place <laughs> but that's part of the fun okay now this is the regular BBS with the persona platinum we're gonna try this side uh, yeah it's the left side is the BBS right side is the BBS a so BBS first here we go This thing has almost zero blade feel. Like, I can tell that it's cutting more by the sound than by anything I actually feel. It's definitely efficient though, it's, it's cutting hair. Cutting hair without a lot of trouble, so. All right, here comes the BBSA on the right side. Interesting. So, I don't know if any of you are familiar with the uh, Razor Rock Lupo 72, but the, uh, the blade feel on this is almost the same as like a Lupo 72. Maybe, I mean, let me just try to. Now, now I'm second guessing that. I mean, maybe it's closer to a Mamba 70. There's, there's more blade feel. Like it, I'm just gonna cut that short and say there is a lot more uh, blade feel. Now that's not saying much because the regular BBS had almost none. All right, second pass. There's definitely not a tremendous amount of feedback with the BBS. Now for the longest time, 
in my uh, wet shaving hobby. I thought that was what I preferred, was neutral exposure and not a lot of blade feel. But more recently, I have, uh, have found that I prefer a touch of blade feel, but not a tremendous amount of it. Just because it's nice to have that, that feedback of the blade, and it kind of keeps you in check. So, here comes the BBSA again. Oh... So there, uh, there are three new plates for the BBS. I mean, you get the BBS standard, which is the one that I've been shaving on this side with. That's been around for several years. And then recently, Razor Rock, within the last month or, or two, released the uh, BBS Open Comb, which had a... Uh, a little bit higher aggression, a little bit, a little bit more aggressive, and then above that was this, the BBSA, which was even more aggressive above that. And then they have the BBSAS and that will kill you instantly. <laughs> I'm obviously joking. I'm sure the BBS uh, AS is perfectly fine. So, but I'm actually liking, uh, liking the BBS A more than the regular BBS. There's more blade feel and more feedback but it's still not like taking a chisel to your face. It's not, it's not a wild and crazy amount of blade feel, but it's a lot more than the regular BBS. So I guess that, that's just the best I can say about it is if you like the BBS, but you want just a, just a little bit more blade feel, then the BBS-A is probably a good one for you. Just a little bit. Yeah, that doesn't, that feels like nothing. It's not bad, like that doesn't have to be a bad thing, but this feels like it's just a piece of metal rubbing along my skin. And the only way I know that it's cutting is because I can hear it. Whereas this, you hear it and you feel it. Okay, that's enough. I think I have uh, gathered all the information I need. So we're going to... Take an Allen block to the face and see how both of these did. And then we're going to come back for the aftershave and my final thoughts on the Razor Rock BBS and the BBSA. Okay, we're going to follow up with the Omega Allen block and we're going to see how these razors performed on my face. So far, so good. A little bit of stinging up here on my upper lip on both sides. Other than that, ever so slight amount of stinging over here where the BBS A was. Other than that, it's uh, it feels pretty good. There's no stinging hardly at all. So that'll be the... Uh, Ellen Block report card for this particular shave.
All right, we're gonna put some ProRezzo Blue Aftershave Balm on the face. Then we're gonna talk about these two razors for a minute. Okay, now I've actually found ProRezzo Blue to be even better for my sensitive skin than ProRezzo White. And ProRezzo White is built for sensitive skin, so explain that one. There's definitely a disconnect there, but for my particular sensitivities, I've found that Perezzo Blue is actually is actually better. So that's what I have to say about that. Now, let's talk about the Razor Rock BBS and the BBS A. It does look like I managed to get away with a uh, Nick Free shave, and that's a lot for me to say because uh, eight out of ten shaves. If you've watched my my prior videos, and you're familiar with the channel, then you know, 8 out of 10 shaves, I am nicking myself and cutting myself. It's it's not usually horrible, but there's always one or two. This one, it doesn't look like there's any at all. I did get some, uh, some redness, some additional redness on this side of my neck. I don't know if you can see that above what I got over here. But my neck doesn't feel any different. So, these two razors are 316 stainless steel. They are $69.99 US. And I think the winner for me is going to be the BBSA. Just because I'm finding that I like that just a touch extra blade feel. When you can when you're comparing one to the other, I have to say that the that the blade feel difference between the two is significant. But still, the BBSA doesn't have that much blade feel. So if you like the BBS, you like the shaving angle, and uh, you like the fact that the blade is really tight in the head and you, you just want some extra blade feel, then you might consider trying the BBS-A or the BBS-AS. So for me, the regular BBS is going to go on a BST at some point at a competitive price, and I'll let somebody else uh, do with it what they please. So that'll be the shave for today and my final thoughts. I want to thank everybody for watching, and until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.